Yes, Marcus Babel needs results over the next few weeks, like New South Wales needs rain. Plenty of it, and the sooner the better. Five straight losses have seen the German come under increasing scrutiny. Not perhaps the time you want to face a Western United outfit becoming rather renowned for their ability to grind out a result. See, any team has a chance with him in their side. Same can be said for Panayotis Kone, who returns into the Italian. They create the space for Connor Payne. They've worked this beautifully. And only Daniel Lopar denies the opening goal. Panayotis Kone arriving late into the box. It was beautifully constructed. West on tenterhooks and uh, Meyer. Well, he did hit the target, but fortunately for him, part of the goal where Philip Curto was stationed. Jeski fired up down the left hand side. It breaks for Duke here. Teasing cross, only partly away, and volleyed by Muller. Oh, wonderful technique by the German, and it goes agonizingly wide from a Western Sydney Wanderers point of view. If the delivery can be a little better, that's the first challenge for the Wanderers. That's the issue, isn't it? It's not been the right delivery for him. Let's see if Muller can provide it. It's near post. They've got it this time. It's Patrick Ziegler, the other German, or one of the three, I should say, that has broken the deadlock with just 12 minutes left. And look at the joy. Look at what it means to the under-fire Wanderers. Here's Diamante. They still have him, so they're always half a chance with him in their team. Payne making ground on the left. Two with Piraeus, Payne again, hangs it up beautifully, it's in, Aaron Galba, the ex-Sydney FC defender, would you believe it, 1-1. What a ball by Connor Payne. And Marcus Babel looks utterly crestfallen. Maybe one final opportunity. Time almost up. Touched back by Chip. Left a little bit short for Georgievski. He makes it good. Sweeps it wide right for Russell. Is this the moment for the Wanderers? Aaron Calder here at one end and at the other as well. And Alireza Fagadi says that will do. And Aaron Calder's late, late strike earns Mark Rudin's team a share of the spoils. The Wanderers stem the bleeding from five straight losses, but it's another week without a win, and the Wanderers still without one since late October. At this point, not enough to lift them back into the top six. Will it be enough to lift the pressure on Marcus Babel?